Um, the a rough s- scenario is that if you assume the frontier models drive forward and a few of the open source models, it's likely that a very small number of companies can play this game. Countries, excuse me. What are those countries or who are they? Countries with a lot of money and a lot of talent, strong educational systems, and a willingness to win. The U.S. is one of them. China is another one. How many others are there? Are there any others? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. But certainly the, 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 in your lifetimes, the battle between U, the U.S. and China for knowledge supremacy is going to be the big fight. Right? <laughs> so the U.S. government banned uh, essentially the NVIDIA chips, although they weren't allowed to say that was what they were doing, but they actually did that into China. Um, they have about a 10-year chip advantage. We have a, a roughly 10-year chip advantage in terms of sub-DUV, that is sub-5 nanometer. 10 years, chip. that long? Roughly 10 years. Wow.